Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your guy, John Neal Jr., also known as your professor. How are you? Well, listen, look, we're going to get right into it. Today, our topic is taking full responsibility for yourself and, and take responsibility for your life. What does that mean? Well, first of all, you, you always hear people complaining. Well, it's because I'm tall. It's because I'm short. It's because I'm black. It's because I'm white. Whatever the excuse may be, people are always trying to find an excuse uh, to make something not work out. And if it doesn't work out, they don't look at themselves. They don't look from within. Are you one of those people? I can't answer that for you. Only you can. Don't pass blame. If something goes wrong in your life, do not pass blame. Because blame, what it does is you're not taking responsibility for who you really are. And you're just passing it on to the next person, to the next person. And you know what it does? It lowers your self-esteem. It really does. Think about it. When you did something and you knew that you shouldn't have did it, but you blamed it on someone else. Now, you may have gotten a little bit of argument and maybe it was a big argument. There was some conflict that that arised. But here's the issue. At the end of all that, you thought about it and you knew that you were in the wrong. And what happened? Well, you lost probably a meaningful relationship and it lowered your self-esteem. How about being accountable for your actions? Be accountable. If you do something wrong, just own up to it. Say, you know what? I did it. I'm ashamed. You know, ask for forgiveness. Ask the person for your forgiveness. But own it. It's okay. You know what? We're human beings. We're going to make mistakes. And it is all right. But take responsibility for your actions. Remember, actions speak louder than words. If someone's always telling someone something, hey, this, this, and this, and that, whatever they're saying, and their words do not, their rhetoric does not match with their actions, mm -mm, that's not really good, is it? It's not good at all. Let your actions speak out. A lot of people want to talk. In this world, you can't talk your way into success. You can't talk your way into relationships. To, in order to take responsibility for your life, guess what? You have to have a plan of action. And you can't just talk about it, right? Actions speak louder than words. Everything you've done today has gotten you where you're at to this point in your life. Every single thing, all your actions, all your mistakes, all the positive has gotten you to this point, has landed you right in this spot. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to change? Are you going to make adjustments? It's up to you. But all your action is a result to where you're standing at this particular moment or city. Look at your surroundings. Do you ever look at your surroundings? Who are you surrounding yourself around? Are they positive or negative? You know, when I was coaching football, there was this saying, and I'm just going to paraphrase it. Show me who your friends are. And I will tell you where you're going in life. You ever hear that saying, birds of a feather flock together, right? That means if you want to hang out with people who are not going anywhere, and that's part of your support system and your surroundings, chances are you're not going to go anywhere because something's going to hit the fan and you're going to get blamed for something even if you didn't do it, right? What will you change, right? What will you change about your life? When will you change? It starts right now. Change starts right now. You know, I've heard people say, I'm going to change the world. I'm going to change the world. Well, change, real change. It starts from within. And if you want to make a difference, lead by example. More people are receptive to you when you're accountable. More people are receptive to you when you're honest. So if you want to change anything about this world, you got to first start with you. Because if you do that, people are going to trust you and they're going to respect you. And you're going to build more meaningful relationships and then you'll take true ownership of your life. You're the captain of your ship. You're the pilot of your plane. And wherever you go, it's up to you. You ever watch movies? Most movies are made, but you need a writer. You need a script. Well, you're the writer. You're the producer. 
and you're the director. How is your movie going to play out? What is the plot going to be about? Are you going to be the main character in your own movie? Or are you going to be an extra? Are we going to see a flash of you in no words and then you disappear? I'm not sure, but that is up to you. What is your why? Last but not least, what is your why? What is the reason you want your life to be better? What is the reason why you think you should be more responsible? Sometimes you're going to have to look outside yourself. Sometimes you're going to have to look at someone you love. You're going to have to look and be responsible for people and things outside of you. We can't be selfish in our journey to, when we're gravitating towards self-actualization. What is your why? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, find your why so you can be successful. Take responsibility for your life. You deserve it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is your guy, John Neal Jr., also known as your professor. Thanks for tuning in and please come back for the next session.